Good evening. I'm hereby calling to order the September 24, 2018 meeting of the Mayfield Heights City Council. May I have a roll call, please, Lisa? Mr. Balestria? Present. Mr. Dijon? Here. Mrs. Finney? Here. Mr. Mano? Here. Mrs. Sabetta? Here. Mrs. Snyder? Here. Mrs. Tressy? Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Welcome everyone this evening on this lovely rainy night. First, we'll start with the approval of the minutes from the September 12th meeting. Did everyone have a chance to read them over? Is there a motion to approve the meetings from the council meeting on September 12th? Moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Mano, seconded by Mr. Balestria. Are there any suggested changes, amendments, or deletions? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it, and the minutes are written as approved. Next on the agenda are correspondence and announcements. Does any member of council have any correspondence or announcements? Mr. Miano. Just want to make a comment on the uh, the work that was done at the uh, end of Fruitland in that shopping plaza. They did one hell of a nice job. I've gotten a lot of, of uh, uh, comments and, and a couple of phone calls about how nice it looks. Um, they did a great job on the landscape, and the only problem is nobody ever watered anything. And I just hope this rain helps that recover tonight, or they're going to lose a lot of stuff there. But uh, they did a nice job. came out really good. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Mano. Anything else? Okay, seeing none, um, the mayor is not here tonight, so we'll move on to Director of Law, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. No report this evening. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there any questions for Mr. Murphy? Next, Director of Finance, Mr. Tribby. I hate to spoil things, but I don't have any report either. Oh, no, this is terrible. Does anyone <laughs> have any questions for Mr. Tribby? Okay, next we'll move on to our committees, commissions, and boards, and we'll start with Mrs. Snyder, Building Committee. Thank you, Madam Chair. I have nothing this evening either. Thank you, Mrs. Snyder. Any questions for Mrs. Snyder? We'll move on then to Mrs. Sabetta, Finance and Audit Committee. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, the Finance and Audit Committee had no meeting, therefore I have no report, but Resolution 2018-58 is on the agenda tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Sabetta. Are there any questions for Mrs. Sabetta? Um, next is legislation, Mrs. Teresi, and is it you, Mr. DeJohn, on that committee? I'm, I'm, I'm oh, Mr. Mano? Yeah, there's no report. No report. And we're still trying to get that date together for that meeting. So when Mrs. Tressy gets back, we'll get that taken care of. Um, next, we'll move on to Public Works and Service. Mr. Balestria. I have no official report this evening, but we are still trying to set up a committee of the whole meeting. Thank you, Mr. Balestria. Are there any questions for Mr. Balestria? Next, we'll move on to Recreation and Parks, and I know you have a report, Mr. Mano. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chairman. <laughs> Registration is open for all for the LBJ basketball for boys and girls in one of our two age groups, K1 and 2 and 3, and for our new WLBJ basketball for girls grades 2 to 4. Join us for a fun evening of intrigue as we discover the whodunit of the night. Don't miss out on the murder mystery dinner. This event sold out last year. This year's event will be on Saturday, October 6th. Doors open at 6 p.m. Cost is $30 per person. Pre-registration is required. Dinner will include roast beef, potatoes, veggie, dessert, coffee, and water. Young at Heart Adult Halloween Party uh, <laughs> on October 23rd. It's $10 pre-registration is required from 3 to 5 p.m. Why let the kids have all the fun? Join us in costume if you wish. You'll get an extra raffle ticket for ghoulish games and freaky fun. We will provide heavy appetizers, prizes and giveaways, a photo booth, DJ, Jam and Joel, and more. Mayfield Heights Kids Halloween Party is scheduled for Saturday, October 27th at the Dijon Community Center. One session only, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Tickets are now on sale. The cost is $7 for 
per person. Tickets must be purchased in advance. Wildcat Sport and Fitness Learn to Swim has its fall two session coming up October 20th December to December 1st. Registration opens for school district residents on October 13th. Uh, floor hockey registration is open and league play begins October 27th for grades 3 to 5 and 6 to 8. Call 440-995-6840 for more information on registering. For any information on any recreation program, please call the office at 442-2627 or check the website at www.mayfieldheights.org and select Parks and Recreation. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Mano. Any questions for Mr. Mano? Okay, seeing none, we'll move on to safety and transportation. Mr. DeJohn. Thank you, Madam President. I have no report this evening. Thank you, Mr. DeJohn. Are there any questions for Mr. DeJohn? Next, we'll move on to the Board of Zoning, Mrs. Sabetta. Thank you, Madam President. Yes, the BZA met September 11th. There is one resolution on the agenda tonight that can be addressed when presented, and the applicant is present. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Sabetta. Are there any questions to Mrs. Sabetta? We'll move on to Planning Commission, Mr. Balestria. Thank you, Madam Chairman. The Planning Commission met last Monday on September 17th. As a result of that meeting, we have one motion on tonight's agenda. Council was copied on the minutes, and we'll discuss that agenda item when it comes up. Thank you, Mr. Balestria. Are there any questions to Mr. Balestria? Seeing none, we now come to the public portion of the meeting. Pursuant to city code, each person will be allowed five minutes to speak with the maximum of 30 minutes allowed it for the entire public portion. Although it is not a time for public debate, this is your opportunity to address council with your concerns. Please know that no personal attacks or comments will be allowed. Also, if you are here in a connection with the agenda item, this is your opportunity to address council. If you would like to be heard this evening, please raise your hand and be recognized, then approach the podium, state your name and address for the record. It is now 7:10. I'll open the public portion. Would anyone like to be heard this evening? Anybody? Okay, seeing none, I'll close the public portion at 7, 10, and 2 seconds. <laughs> Thank you. We'll move on to resolutions. Bless you. Um, we will begin with resolution 2018-58, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Resolution number... 2018-58, a resolution requesting the county fiscal officer to advance real property taxes from the proceeds of tax levies pursuant to section 321.34, Ohio Revised Code. First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Snyder, seconded by Mr. Balistria. Could I have a roll call, please, on the motion to suspend? Yes. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Is there a motion to approve? Moved. Moved by Mr. Mano, seconded by Mrs. Snyder. Any discussion? Nothing? Boy, this is really easy. Can we have a roll call, please, Lisa? Mr. DeJohn? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Resolution 2018-58 has been adopted. Next on our agenda is Resolution 2018-59. I'm going to turn the chair over to uh, Mrs. Snyder since I have a personal relationship with the property owner. Resolution 2018-59, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Acting Chairman. <laughs> Uh, 2018-59, a resolution confirming the action of the Board of Zoning Appeals of the City of Mayfield Heights in determining a self-storage facility use proposed by John Mulchin on behalf of Fairchild Management Company for 1413 Golden Gate Boulevard, Mayfield Heights, Ohio, also known as permanent parcel numbers 862-06-050, 862-06-050, Zero five zero eight six two dash zero six dash zero seven one, 
862-06-072 and 862-06-073. Is the use consistent with the uses authorized in the U4 Local Retail Wholesale District? First reading. Thank you. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Move. Moved by Mr. Balistrea. Second. By Mr. Sabetta. Roll call on the motion to suspend. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Mano? No. Mr. Dijon? No. Mr. Balistrea? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Abstain. So the motion has failed as there were not six votes to suspend the rules. So this resolution will be placed on first reading. Is there any discussion on the matter this evening? There is no discussion. It's on first Sorry. reading. Um, Lisa said you could talk. Oh, you can? Oh, I thought if it's on first reading, you could have done. Just so you can think about it prior to the next upcoming meetings. Is there any other discussion? Mr. John? Oh, since the applicant is here, can uh, we have him speak? The applicant is here, correct? You'd need a motion in a second because you're not supposed okay. to discuss it unless it's ready to be approved. That's what I was yeah. so, so we cannot have oh, discussion. Mrs. I never thought we could if we put it on um, ratings, honestly. Michael? No. Can't it, discuss it? it? No. As far as, as far as I know, if it's suspended. Uh, Sorry. I don't think we could have discussion. Yeah, yeah I was just in the, I just spoke to the clerk today, and we, that's what we were told. Okay. I, I was told. That's, I'm sorry. That's fine. No, no problem. Um, you know what? Maybe if he could. I thought she said that the law director was the final. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So. Back to you. Oh, okay. Back to me. Okay. <laughs> Got kind of quiet down there. Okay. Next on our agenda is resolution 2018 60, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Resolution 2018-60, a resolution authorizing a member community infrastructure grant program agreement by and between the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District and the City of Mayfield Heights for the city street sweeping program. First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Moved by Mrs. Snyder, seconded by Mr. Balistria. Could I have a roll call, please, on the motion to suspend? Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mr. Dijon? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Is there a motion to approve? Moved. Moved by Mr. Balistria. Um, I'll second it. Any discussion? Any comments? Michael? Yeah, just uh, this was uh, approved uh, previously uh, by council. The, uh, the name of the company is Elgin, <coughs> and uh, we have made application for a street sweeper and a number of options uh, with a discount from the state in the amount of $186,688 that was approved, and it just needs council's approval to go forward with the grant, with this grant money. Thank you. Guess we don't want to refuse that. Anything else? Seeing none, can we have a roll call, please, Lisa? Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Dijon? Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Um, resolution 2018-60 has been adopted. Next in our agenda's ordinances. There's only one ordinance tonight, 2018-33. Mr. Murphy, please. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Ordinance number 2018-33. An ordinance authorizing the mayor to transfer certain real property known as Cuyahoga County Permanent Parcel Number 861-25-008 to Marina Baskin, 1719 Gladwin Drive. First reading. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Is there a motion to approve? I mean, suspend. I'm sorry. Moved by Mrs. Sabata. Seconded by Mr. Balistria. Roll call, please. Mrs. Sabata. Yes. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. Balistria? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Dijon? Yes. Mrs. Finney? Yes. Is there a motion to approve? Moved. Moved by Mr. Mano, seconded by Mrs. Snyder. Any discussion? Mr. Dijon? Yeah, I just like a, an explanation on this. 
Mr. Murphy. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, we discussed this uh, a couple of months ago uh, in executive session. There is this parcel of land that um, had been foreclosed by the county for non-payment of taxes some years ago, and uh, the city owns it, and the abutting owner to the west would like to purchase it. So we sent out letters to all of the abutting owners since it's basically landlocked. So they would be the only ones interested in it, and she was the only one who responded, and she offered $200 <coughs> plus paying uh, recording costs for the, the property. So it, uh, it has been bid, and uh, if council of a mine, uh, we can sell it to her. Any other Thank questions? You. Mr. Bellstrian? No. No, okay. Roll call, please, Lisa. Mr. Mano? Yes. Mr. Bellastria? Yes. Mr. DeJand? Yes. Mrs. Sabetta? Yes. Mrs. Snyder? Yes. <coughs> Mrs. Finney? Yes. Ordinance 2018 33 has been adopted. Next on our agenda are motions. We'll start with motion A, the only motion, Mr. Murphy. <laughs> motion to confirm the decision of the Planning Commission approving a renewal of the final site plan for a new bank building for Chase Bank at 1458 Psalm Center Road. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Do I have a motion to approve? Second. Okay, any discussion? No. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion A stands. That was our only motion and so I think we are done. Is there any new business or comments? Seeing none, do I have a motion to adjourn? Move. If everybody wants to, we'll just put all seven names down. Moved by Mr. Mano, seconded <laughs> by Mr. Bellstria. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you for joining us this evening. <laughs>